everybody, this is Steve with Smitty's Fly Box. We're tying a double ugly for the intermediate box this month. So this is just a big old articulated streamer that's pretty fun to tie. And, um, you know, if you like fishing streamers, this gives you another meaty, meaty looking thing that, that you can throw at some fish. So um, we're going to start off with, uh, I've got these streamer hooks. These are Ori Ensign hooks, 38, uh, 7380. And this is a size 2 for the back hook. So it's got a nice wide gap on it. I'm using 6 hot thread, and we'll just attach our thread, get it nice and uh, secure. Excess. Basically a woolly bugger, but I'm going to do a two-tone tail, so we'll start with this kind of light tan color. And I want the tail to be about the length of the hook shank. And once I've got that, pinch right there. Let's take our thread back to our tying point directly above the barb of the hook right in there. And that's where I'll secure that in. We'll tie down a few of those butts. And then let's repeat that step here with the uh, brown marabou. Kind of matched up the tip ends there. Let's just tie it down up in here. And then just spiral, spiral wrap that back to our tying point right there. Okay, so I have a uh, piece of strung hackle here. And I'm just going to take it by the tip and brush back some of those hackle barbs. Like that. And then I can tie that in by the tip. Make sure I get a good part of the stem there. And we'll tie that down. Again, going forward. And now I'm going to tie in my cactus chenille. And we'll lay that along the hook shank like that again, creating that kind of underbody. And we'll come right back here to the front. So now's a good time to hit this with a little uh, head cement, super glue, just glue all that underbody and to help hold everything together. Okay, now we can begin wrapping our cactus chenille over the top away from us. And we'll just building a nice sparkly body there. Just working our way forward. And try not to crowd our head as much as possible. Pull some of that stuff back out of the way. And now we can wrap our, our hackle going forward. We're just going to work that through that cactus chenille. Then we're going to put in some rubber legs there. So what I have is just some uh, reptile legs here. I've got a strand there that I peeled off two of them together. I'm going to just lay those in there. I've got a nice strand that's six inches long or so. And, and uh, I'm just going to tie, tie it in on the side. Like that. And then we can double back to the opposite side like that, and we can get them laying down both sides, and then we can whip finish right there. Touch that with a little head cement right there. All right, so there's the uh, back fly. Let's, let's just uh, separate these legs and trim those up how we like them articulation wire and we're going to thread that up through the eye of the hook right there and just kind of get that ready to attach to our front fly so let's set that aside okay so now i have the uh, front hook in the vise this is a little bit larger hook this is a one up and we're going to basically repeat those steps but i'm going to attach this articulation here. So um, what I'm going to do is just try to position that so that eye of that hook just barely extends right here even with the back and try to hold that wire right on top and we're going to secure that in right there. Come in there and hit that all along there 
keep that from slipping on us. After that kicks for a minute, we'll start the next one. Okay, now what are we gonna do now that it's had a chance to dry a little bit, let's start with our eyeballs in the front. So I'm gonna attach a, some yellow dumbbell eyes just in front of where we uh, folded that wire over. And I'm just gonna get it on there and make a few good turns and then make a bunch of wraps up underneath it like that. And then we'll a figure eight wrap and then come up underneath. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna spin those to the underside, and that's how we want it to lay, is right there on the underside, like that. All right, once we've done that, again, thing, a good thing to do again, you could probably do all this at once when you do the, the wire on the back is just hit that with some uh, super glue as well. All right, now we'll just start tying the fly. Let's take our thread back to our tie-in point directly above the barb of the hook, and we're gonna do um, another tail. So we'll go about the length of the hook shank, right in there, secure that in, like so. And we'll do a uh, brown marabou now. Again, I like to create a little even underbody. So once I've got that right there, tie that in right there. We'll just spiral wrap that all the way back to our tie-in point. Just tying our hackle by the tip. Secure that in there. And we'll take our cactus chenille. Secure that in there. And we're building up quite a fat body here. We're gonna stop everything just behind that, uh, those eyeballs. All right, we're starting to get a lot of stuff right there behind the eyes, but let's uh, wrap our hackle. And we'll tie that off. Now, one thing I like to do is just uh, Let's pull everything back out of the way and just build a bunch of thread wraps right there. I like to put another little tuft of marabou right out the top just to give it a little more ump. Swims a little bit more and gives it a little more movement in the water. So about the same as I would as, as a tail. And we're gonna hold that right in there and we can secure that right up there above the uh, Yeah, let's just trim some of that down, just a, just a smidge. We're gonna cover all this up anyway, so. All right, now for the head, before we do the head, we gotta put our another set of rubber legs in. So let's take two of those rubber legs, repeat like what we did on the last one. We'll lay that right in there along the side. Secure that in. Fold it over to the other side and secure that in. So they're going right down each side of the fly. All right, we're getting a lot of stuff there. Now let's just clean up that head. So I'm gonna take another smaller section of this crystal chenille. I'm gonna just give myself a little more of a stem there to tie in like that. Now let's take our thread to the eye of the hook I'm gonna build a little chenille head here, so let's go. So let's take one full turn all the way around, like that. And I'm gonna figure eight. I'm gonna go across the eyes, up, back across the eyes. So I'm now I'm underneath. I'm gonna come right up underneath like that and make one full turn. And then I can tie that off right there. Right there at the eye of the hook, like so. And we'll trim that off. Now let's pull everything back out of the way. 
and make a couple good turns right there. Make sure we tie down that chenille really good. And now we'll wood finish right there. Just like that. And snip that off. All right. Now let's just do some finishing touches here. I like to actually take this chenille and just almost trim it. Give it a little bit tighter head around those eyes. Like that. It just gives it a little better look, I think. We can separate these legs. Okay, so what we have is a big gnarly swimming something or other ugly.